<laughs> Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Oh my, that was pretty nice. Hello, Scott. Yeah. Easy break, yeah. I'd call it. <laughs> the knuckle puck. <laughs> yeah, drop. Oh, that's you, too. I got drop, drop, drop. Oh, let's go back. Oh. Yeah, I'm with you, I'm with you. <laughs> no way. <laughs> nice save. <laughs> Jeez. Here you go, here you go. We tried. Yo, what's going on guys? Nasher here. Just wanted to give you a quick update of what has been going on with me. Man, it has been such a terrible week. Honestly, there's just not really an easy way to put this, so I figured I'd kind of just explain everything here at the end of this video. So, I put out the big 100K video, set a world record against Pavel Barber, and then all havoc just broke loose. So I got a breakaway, started walking in on the goalie, was gonna do just a little simple backhand forehand. Goalie came out a little bit far with his leg pad, which is why I actually ended up tripping over. I thought I could still control myself, use my hand to kind of reach out and sneak the puck across, but that's actually what ended up causing a lot of these problems. I ended up falling directly onto like my stomach, spleen, lower rib area. Um, and I wasn't able to catch my fall because I had my hands out in front of me. Impact was very hard on that area, instantly knocking the wind out of me, and I kind of thought that that was just going to be it. You know, I started to try to get up and I really couldn't um, just because of the pain and, and I tried to take a breath and I couldn't, which I, you know, I've had that happen to me a couple times before and not really thought anything of it. So I went to the bench and just started taking off my gear, waited about 10 minutes or so. 
Um, and the big thing that I noticed was I couldn't lie on my back. Eventually I tried to go in the grass and just lie straight down like this and I couldn't do it. Still can't really do it. That pretty much blocked off all breathing and just caused excruciating pain. I'm talking I couldn't even get up. I could not even take the smallest breath. I was like breathing only through my nose because of the amount of pain that would happen if I tried to even take somewhat of a gulp of air. So I attempted to drive home on my own, which is probably one of the dumbest things I've ever done. I was in so much pain. I honestly, I don't even know how I made it. I like stopped to pull over multiple times and just like catch my air and like try to see if I was okay. Anyways, we went to an emergency room here in Columbus to just get it checked out. Hopefully figure out what's causing that and hopefully just get in, get out, call it a day. But no, that's not how it's gonna go. So I went and got a CAT scan where they could pretty much see everything that's going on inside of me and there was a ton of internal bleeding going on right on that impact area in my spleen. After the scan, I found out I had a tier four spleen laceration. So essentially there was a ton of internal bleeding going on from that impact inside my spleen that was kind of spreading to different areas of my body. They also told me this level of laceration does not happen very often in contact sports. Like I'm talking rarely ever. Usually it only happens during like head on car collisions. I'm talking like 60, 70 mile an hour collisions. That's what causes this sort of stuff that I got just from falling on a breakaway in hockey. Obviously I was pretty bummed out. This was one of the most routine little just hockey falls that I've taken. Probably take like one or two of these every single time I play but this time it caused something that's going to be keeping me out for quite a bit. They immediately took me into surgery where they were able to coil up the bleeding areas of the spleen so the internal bleeding was stopped very quickly. Thankfully I'm not going to have any you know long-term effects from that. But I did have to spend five straight days and nights in the hospital. I was not able to move, not able to eat, not able to sleep. I couldn't relax. Literally, I was just in constant pain down here and into my back because I couldn't move. The, the pain was unbearable. Just yesterday, I was able to sit straight up for the first time, actually sit at my computer and try to edit out some videos. Today, I'm sitting here talking to you guys, sitting up. So obviously, I'm feeling a little bit better. I think we're kind of on the exponential curve of getting better with this thing. So yeah, that's what's been going on with me. I just wanted to update you guys and let you know why I haven't been uploading videos. I didn't just get to 100K and then forget about you guys. It has just been a very unfortunate and clearly awful week for me. So um, thank you guys for all the love and support during this tough time. The stuff on Twitter has been insane. Just all the love and support that you've given me. And uh, this road to 100K couldn't have gone any better. I have an appointment tomorrow where I'll have a progress update and they'll also kind of have a better idea of when I'll be good to get back on the ice. But it's looking like it'll be about a month or so. So the bad news is NHL 18 isn't out yet, so I can't be doing that. But in the next couple months, we're gonna have a ton of great content. In the meantime, I'll try to make do with what I have. And I'll be getting some videos to you guys as soon as I can. That's about it for this one, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Slow-mo peace.